What's good with Fat Gang? It's your girl, Mickey, checking in, guys. And today, 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 I wanted to hop on here and just kind of talk to you guys um, a little bit about some things that I have been learning and going through. And it just become kind of that those reoccurring things. And, you know, once you have the same thing or lesson that keeps coming up, it makes you really sit, think, ponder, and try to figure out what is going on with you that you keep needing to hear this information. What are you not doing? What are you not catching? So before we get into the meat and grit of this video, guys, if you are tuning in for the very first time, welcome to the den. My name is Mickey. On this channel, I do self-care tips every Sunday. Really just getting to know who we are, put the head of me back on, and really take back control of us. I do interviews with growing businesses, and we get to know the business owner and what they sell. So you get to know the person behind the business. We drop lots of business tips and knowledge on here. It's all positivity on this channel. We're all about forward moving progression and networking here. I'm a mom of three, I have an amazing husband. So this, we do do family fun activities on this channel as well, but it's about me, it's about my life, it's about growing and helping others. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you can become part of the Wolf Pack. And also hit that notification bell so you'll get notified anytime your girl drops a new video, okay? You can also follow me on any of my other social media platforms. I also am the owner of Kingdom Brand Clothing. We have stylish casual clothing for the entire family. We do t-shirts, leggings, joggers, hoodies, custom orders, roller trays, ashtrays, earrings. <laughs> we do a little bit of everything. You can always shop kingdombrandclothing.com. But the meat and grit of this video, the reason you clicked on this video, guys. So, I have been doing different lives with various business owners and things. I've been coming across like posts on social media and they all have been saying the same thing. We have to tap into us and really learn who we are and learn what our talents are, what our strengths are, what are we capable of doing. So many times we get so caught up and wrapped up in just our day to day, right? You get in that habit and you're just you're just going through the motions at this point. You know what you have to do. You know kind of how traffic is going to be. You know how to, where to go, where to turn where to, and all that. So it's like you get caught up in that ever in the cycle of what we do on a daily basis, our life. And let me slow down because I'm talking fast and I'm getting passionate. Y'all know how I get. So let me let me slow it down. So, and sometimes in doing that and getting, so to speak, on that hamster wheel, we forget to stop and look at all the different amazing things that are going on around us. We forget to really tap into us at the core and see really what we like to do. What are we talented at? And we always and are in search of additional funds because I don't know about you all but I can use a couple extra coins in my pocket like I can always use more money to be able to do something that I want to do thinking about doing or something like that so I personally feel if we tap into ourselves we really get to know who we are and yes we change every so often so for me I'm 34 right now but my mind state it's not the same when I was 18, right? It's not the same as when I before I became a mother. It's not the same as when I got married. It's always different. You grow and you evolve in life. Whether you want to acknowledge it, believe it, hold on to it, hone it or not, you grow. Everything that happens to you in life is a growing experiment. For example, if you're you know, on your cell phone, you're trying to hold your phone in this hand, you're trying to drive with this hand, you got your kids in the back seat, and all this and that, and you're not focused on the driving aspect of it, and you almost have an accident, you're gonna start, okay, let me let me do something different. You know, if you are in the grocery store, and you are just picking up this item, this item, this item, this item, and then you get to the ranch and you realize, oh man, I don't have enough money, because why? So next time when you go to the store, you're gonna maybe have a list. You're gonna maybe do better at trying to count up what you're putting in your item so you can make sure once you get to that register, you're good. 
you know what I'm saying? So those are little, those are just little things that we go through every day that you're like, okay, note it, note it, note it. And you don't even realize that, that is a form of growth. Give yourself credit for that growth, okay? And so in doing that, you also have to realize that you yourself change as a person. You evolve with the knowledge you gain, with the experiences you gain, and just navigating through life, you change, you grow, you have to adapt into, to what is going on around you, right? So in doing that, utilize your newfound you once you sit down and you realize, okay, who am I? What do this version of me like to do? What it does, what makes this person happy? You you do, you have to relearn yourself and that's not that's no problem in that. That's not saying you're crazy. That's not no, you have to relearn yourself. As a kid, I couldn't really stand tuna. Now as an adult, I freaking love it. I want a tuna sandwich all the time. You know what I mean? As a kid, I couldn't stand spinach. Now I love it. You you change, you grow, you evolve as a person. So take that time to really learn and see who you are. How can you um better cater to this this version? of you and once you do that baby you can hone in and learn skills that you never thought you had you can create those passions for new things that this new version of you was thinking about for example growing up i could not do hair baby i was ponytail shoddy okay and sometimes my ponytail wasn't even the best i just i wasn't into it i just didn't like it i did not care and let me tell you how the world works, but I got three girls with all long, natural, beautiful hair. So I had to grow when I had my kids, I evolved. I had to learn how to do their hair because baby, I couldn't afford having someone else do their hair, all three of them every month, I couldn't afford it. So I had to learn and tap into new things that I never thought I had in me. But this new version of me, it's like, okay, let's try these braids. Now, baby, I can do box braids. I'm working on French braids. I add weave and everything. I'm learning. I did crochets. I did, you know? So you you evolve and you learn. So never be afraid to tap into the new you. Never be afraid to see what the new you likes, okay? And really grow and accept the person that you are becoming. Don't look at it as, oh my God, I have to get back to doing what I used to do. And the old me was doing this and the old me was doing that. Well, baby, the old you was gone. You have been through some things that can taught this old person how to grow and evolve into this new state, this new world that we are living in. Keep, you know, keep your roughness, keep the things that made you, but some of those other, those tricks and things that you thought you could only do this certain way, let go of that. Because baby, every day there's a new way to do something. There's a new version of you waiting to be tapped into, waiting to be unleashed, okay? And you're on the verge of it. So don't get scared, don't get timid, don't fall into that, oh, well, this is not what I normally do. Don't do that. Do not limit yourself. Never, never, ever, 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 ever put yourself in a box because you feel this is what you can do. Never do that because you would not let someone else put you in a box. So you damn sure don't put yourself in one, okay? Always remember, you are going to evolve. You are going to grow. Be open to that growth. Be open to the new parts of you that you have to learn and you have to tap into. Embrace them. It's it's you. It's who you are. And it, it's coming out now or it's coming out piece by piece by piece because something you are going through needs that version of you. Maybe the old you wasn't strong enough to handle this next step that you have to go through. So you need to tap into some new stuff in you to get through this next hurdle because the happy person is gonna come through on the other end. Like you never know what your your life is going to be. So all you can do, baby, is be able to grow in it, accept it, and embrace the beautiful part of the beautifulness that is you and learn to tap into those new skills that you're gonna learn, that you're gonna create those newfound passions and joys. And baby, you never know, one day it might turn into some coins for you because the old you wouldn't do it, but baby, the new you do it and they do it amazingly. And 
flawlessly and can't nobody do it like you, okay? Because I never thought I would be selling clothing items or doing YouTube. I never thought that. I wanted to be a juvenile probation officer as a kid. I went to school for law enforcement. And baby, when I tell you this new version of me, it was like, nah, we're going to hold on to that degree, but this is what we're going to do right now, baby. Maybe we'll use that later down the line. But <laughs> you have to be just open and willing to accept you, learn who you are, embrace the new parts of you, tap into those skills, tap into those passions, tap into those parts of you that just keep flickering. And you're like, I don't even know why this is coming. Baby, tap into it. Because it could just be the very thing that's going to take you from here to here. It could be just that very thing. So... I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know that because it's been, like I said, it's been constantly coming up for me and I felt like I needed to share it and get it out there. So I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that it reaches whoever it needed to reach. Maybe I need to hear it for myself out loud, but whatever the case, I hope it helps someone. If you like this video, please make sure you like it, comment it, and share it out to anyone. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on all my social media platforms. I do a live every Wednesday on my Instagram where we chat it up with different businesses and we talk about the relationship between business and self. And it's just, it's always a good time. It's always positive and fun. So make sure you guys tap in. I love you all so much and have a good day. Peace. I feel